defines an indie publisher? Is it a first timer to the industry? A lesser known house that happens to be published on the XBLA indie channel? A group who produced the kind of games that make you want to wear ugly glasses and drink PBR, but only ironically. I lean toward the first two. Though Arcado Studios have been published before, 2007's Nervous Brickdown for the DS, for example, their most recent offerings are a trio of quote-unquote indie games for Xbox Live. One of the prime differences is that these games cost three bucks, which is kind of steep for the indie offerings. One of the other prime differences is that these games are really good. Jump harkens back to the platformers of yore, so much so that the hero himself looks like a chibi pitfall Harry. The Harry of old, though, didn't have to deal with a load of bombs strewn about the level. It's your task to defuse these menaces while avoiding bursts of fire, bats, crabs, skeletons, and the occasional Indiana Jones-style rolling rock of doom. You have to navigate elevators, collapsing platforms, phasing platforms, spikes, and occasionally a pig that won't relinquish its bomb until a certain amount of money has been collected. For being a retro, pixel-style game, Jump looks really good. It's less a direct devotion to blocky pixel art and more an interpretation of what would happen if those same blocky designs were richly rendered in high definition. Fittingly, the soundtrack is also an homage to a bygone era, coagulating blippy 2A03 treble with a rich Genesis bass line. That's the console, not Phil Collins, mind. As with most platformers, the concept seems absurdly simple, but now, as it was then, it's all about the execution. The controls are very solid and responsive, even if you only have one button to worry about. What button is that? Just look at the title, Mitch. I shouldn't say that. You might, might, be lucky enough to come upon a knife which can be thrown with the X button. But these are few and far between. Most of the time, you're simply going to be evading danger, says the guy who's running after bomb after bomb. Sure, it's a fun idea, but is it worth the premium $3? After all, it is an indie game, somewhat. It's a simple idea with excellent execution, and I've said time and again that therein lies the key to a great experience. Anyway, if you've got 240 Microsoft points to spare, leftovers from a rock band binge or something, give Jump a shot. You might just get all nostalgic for 2008. <laughs>